can you can you hear me okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, my name is Jimmy Loughran and I'm a front-end developer for IBM Design Studios in Dublin and today I'm going to talk about animating SVGs and kind of just web animation. So just before I get into it, I want to give you a bit of a background about me. So up until about two months ago, I was uh, working in RT Digital with the lads um, and this is where I became interested in web animation. So kind of started out with stuff uh, around uh, results. So this is the married referendum page. And as you can see there, it's like a simple, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> click away from that one. Uh, it's, a simple, um, it's a simple Angular app and it basically just animates uh, inline CSS. So it's pretty, pretty simple, but effective. Uh, and as I progressed, uh, I started working more with journalists um, to do stuff with D3. So kind of just storytelling using data, and this was all fed in using CSV files and stuff. Uh, so why use motion? Um, I mean, it, it draws attention to changes on the page. It kind of aids in understanding, and then there's fun and whimsy. Uh, so like with a lot of things in life, and this is kind of my mantra, is just because you can <laughs> doesn't mean you should. So especially with animations, you kind of have to use, you kind of have to self-edit, you have to curate, you have to use tact, and everything has to have a bit of an intention. So uh, here's some nice tools that I picked up with this tone. So I talked about D3, Snap, that's kind of like the um, jQuery of SVGs, or Smil or Smile or whatever you want to call it, and that's uh, a native specification for SVGs, but it's not really supported on anything but WebKit. Uh, GSAF, GreenSoft, which is quite powerful, and you can do lots of cinematic stuff. Mo is new, um, but I'm going to be talking about micro interactions. So uh, generally, like, or more specifically, talking about like icons, morphing one icon into another. And I mean, this is kind of for most people synonymous with material design. They really popular popularized this sort of micro interaction. So I've chosen two appropriate tools for this uh, this presentation: segments and CSS. So demo time, I'm going to do two, uh, three really rapid fire uh, demonstrations. Uh, the first one is with JavaScript. So I've chosen this uh, JavaScript class called Segment. It's only 2 KB. And basically what you can see there on the left hand side is um, that's the raw SVG that the designer is going to uh, hand over to you. And it's basically got everything in it, the trajectories of where it's going to go. And you can see beside it there, we've got a hamburger menu and what segment helps you do is basically uh, trace the stroke, the, the stroke of the path. So I'll just show you here what you can do. And here's segments website, so you can see you can start at, uh, start position in pixels or percentages or a combination. You can do different durations. You can choose different easing, stuff like that. And where it comes in really handy and it's really nice is like chaining uh, animations using uh, callbacks. So this is like one animation, but then you make it succeed and you know change that. So second solution is pretty much the exact same, except we're not using any JavaScript. It's just CSS. And basically, uh, SVGs, uh, SVG paths have an at attribute called stroke dash array. So in this SVG, it's got a five pixel uh, dash and a five pixel offset. But what would happen if we did one dash as the entire length of the SVG path, which is in this case a thousand? and then we did an offset and we animated between the offset and the full length. Well, this is what it would look like. So we're just using keyframes to animate between the two different uh, values. So it looks really simple, but actually you can create pretty intricate things depending on how good your actual SVG is. And you know, with uh, keyframes and CSS, you can, you can kind of stagger animations and delay and stuff like that. Last solution is uh, just HTML and CSS. So who needs SVGs? I mean, if it's a simple, uh, you know, shape, a simple icon with three lines, you can draw that with divs. You can use CSS to animate between those two different things. It's three lines, three lines. That's like a ro rotate in an animation. I mean, it kind of brings me back to this thing, which Simon from what he used to always say, which is uh, Occam's razor. It's a misquote, it's a paraphrase, but the simplest solution is usually kind of correct. Uh, so if you don't need to use something, I mean, choose the right tool for the job. Um, and finally, I've created a little stroke dash array. That's my Twitter handle. And if you want to see the slides, just go to my Twitter, and uh, you can you can get the deck, and there's links and stuff, and leave comments. So yeah, that's me.